This spring, Colonel General Alexander Lapin, who oversaw security in the Kursk region, dissolved the council that oversaw the border region's security. He then declared that only the military had the strength and resources to protect Russia's border. As the Wall Street Journal writes, this decision created another hole in the defense of the aggressor country, which the Ukrainian armed forces took advantage of for a lightning fast offensive in the Kursk region. It is noted that Lapin faced an acute shortage of people, but his mistake is typical of senior leadership, which is often out of touch with the realities of combat. Since the start of the war, Russia's centralized, top-down thinking, one of the defining features of Russia under President Vladimir Putin, has backfired on the battlefield. It has prevented sober planning in the Kremlin, and when those plans have failed, it has prevented Russian troops from improvising to respond to rapid events. The publication explains... Former U.S. diplomat and RAND adjunct senior fellow William Courtney noted that the Russian power vertical is still in place, but it now works against their goals. In particular, because of this leadership structure, Russia's response to unexpected events that are unfolding quickly is incredibly difficult and no one on the ground takes initiative. At the same time, it is unclear whether the council disbanded by Lapin would have helped organize a coherent response. This interdepartmental body brought together military officers with local and regional security officials. Without a centralized body, Russia's efforts to confront the Ukrainian armed forces are chaotic and ineffective. Currently, the Russian Ministry of Internal Affairs, the FSB and the Russian Ministry of Defense are all trying to lead the Russian response to the invasion. The reaction of the Russian leadership to the invasion of the Ukrainian armed forces is reminiscent of the first hours of the uprising of Yevgeny Prigozhin and Wagner. According to Russian military correspondents, Lapin's command sent reports to Moscow in the days leading up to the Kursk operation, warning that Ukrainian forces were building up their numbers on the front lines. But since such maneuvers had previously been used to create a threat and gain leverage, Moscow dismissed the warnings. Moscow simply did not think that such a scenario could happen, said Konrad Mozaika, director of the Polish company Rochan Consulting. The Wall Street Journal assessed that the defense planning was almost as disastrous as the start of Russia's invasion itself when the Kremlin sent columns of armored vehicles into Ukraine in ceremonial formation, making them easy targets for drones and anti-tank weapons. However, this is not the first time that poor planning and a lack of manpower have combined under Lapin's command. In early September 2022, the Ukrainian armed forces launched a surprise attack in northeastern Ukraine. Russia's line of advance collapsed and Ukraine managed to retake much of the northeast. I would demote Lapin to private, strip him of his awards and send him to the front lines with a machine gun, Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov said at the time. Belarus has deployed aircraft and air defense troops to the border with Ukraine a day after President Alexander Lukashenko announced he would station about a third of the country's troops along the border, according to Associated Press. The Belarusian military has deployed anti-aircraft missiles and soldiers from the Radio Technical Corps, Major General Andrei Lukianovich, commander of the Belarusian Air Defense Forces, said on national television. He called the move a significant increase. Associated Press recalls that the Belarusian army has a total of about 60,000 troops. Recently, Lukashenko said that Belarus had redeployed almost a third of its army to the border with Ukraine. This is due to the fact that there are allegedly more than 120,000 Ukrainian soldiers there. In his opinion, Ukraine believes that Putin will again attack from the territory of Belarus. After the invasion of Ukrainian troops into the Kursk region of the Russian Federation, Lukashenko began calling for negotiations. Ukraine has not confirmed the Belarusian deployment to the 1,084-kilometer common border. Russia has used Belarus which depends on Russian loans and cheap energy as a staging ground for its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, moving its troops through Belarusian territory to attack Ukraine from the north. Russia also moved some of its tactical nuclear weapons to Belarus in 2023. In Russia, 
It began to be openly discussed that Ramzan Kadyrov's Chechens had betrayed Russia and entered into a separate agreement with Ukraine, according to ZRA media outlet. It is noted that Russian Z military bloggers claim that Kadyrov's men from the Akhmet unit backstabbed the Russians, avoiding a clash with the Ukrainian armed forces during the attack on the Kursk region. A former Wagner mercenary, who goes by the name Alex Parker, has shared on his Telegram page that Kadyrov's forces were well informed about the Ukrainian advance and intentionally allowed them to proceed. The deal was reportedly facilitated through an intermediary, Hussein Jambatov, a former Ukrainian soldier who later returned to Chechnya. Russian military propagandists have expressed outrage, accusing Kadyrov of betraying Russia by orchestrating a secret non-aggression pact with Ukraine. This alleged treachery has fueled claims that Kadyrov's men abandoned their positions and avoided combat rather than defending the Russian frontier. Recent Russian media reports have further criticized Kadyrov's units for reportedly fleeing from the border and failing to engage in the ongoing conflict, abandoning their strategic posts. This situation has sparked heated discussions and raised concerns about the reliability of Kadyrov's forces amid the larger backdrop of the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Kadyrov's men understood the balance of forces and did not want to lose their fighters by simply allowing the Ukrainian armed forces to enter Russian territory. The puzzle is complete, writes a Russian military propagandist, accusing Kadyrov of betraying Russia. Recall. Ukraine's operation in Kursk Oblast has allowed it to seize temporarily the battlefield initiative in part of the front line and contest Russia's theater-wide initiative.